Guys, it's Jay. All right, so here's the video that I've been talking about of doing the unboxing of the three top monthly subscription uh, fishing boxes. Um, the first one that I got on top here is Lucky Tackle Box. The middle one is Monster Bass. And then this one on the bottom is the Mystery Tackle Box. So let's get into it. I'm gonna start with the Lucky Tackle Box here. And I haven't opened them yet, like I've said. I'm gonna keep my reactions as genuine as I can. I feel like that's the best way to go about it. And I've never done these before, ever. Like I've never, I've just seen them online. I thought it would be kind of cool to, you know, there's so many out there. There's actually more than just these three. These three were just the three that popped up to begin with. So I just went with the first three that I found on a search. So, all right, let's start with this. All right, it's got a little sticker, kind of like wrapped up like a gift kind of thing. Let's get into it. Welcome to the Lucky Tackle Box Nation. A couple little cards. Just kind of what's in the box. It's got a breakdown of everything that's in here and the prices for it too. That's kind of cool. Back to the basics. Just a little book of tips, things like that. Texas rigs, you know, how to rig things, knots. All right, so mono fish, uh, some mono filament, uh, fishing line. One of the first things I got in there. That's cool. All right, we got a little top secret fishing tackle <laughs> classified. I've never heard of that brand. This is something cool too, so it's something to play with, especially right now considering they're trying to go after those sheds and those. Uh, see, now this is pretty cool. I like this guy. From the moment of the scout touches the water, it's called a vapor game. That guy's pretty nifty looking. It's not, not so bad. Another guy that's on the top water, Wavelength. So I haven't really heard of any of these brands so far, but I mean, you know, that doesn't mean anything. I'm sure some of you have that, you know, there's some soft baits. There's like uh, something inside that looks like with it. Maybe that's just the background. Oh, it's just the name brand, Toad Bass Tackle. I don't know if you guys heard of them. These guys are pretty cool. Try those guys out. Some hooks, I love worm hooks. So these are cool. These are one warm hook, size one. And then some more soft baits. I'm always down for worms, honestly. I'm always down to try some soft bait worms. I know that sounds like, I guess maybe cliche of a fisherman or something, but like worms are one of my go-tos. And one of those natural colors here in Georgia, that's where it's at for me. The natural colors, the watermelons, you know, these are really good. So I'm down to definitely try these. I haven't heard of this name brand, Gambler, but these look good. I like the way they look in there. So I'm definitely gonna try those soon, I feel like. So that was what was in, oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. And one left. Down Home Lures, another little top one. That guy's cool. I like the colorations on them, especially the orange on the bottom. You know, that'll attract them. I like the green on top. That'll be cool. All right, so that was, what was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items. And then you got the little book and the breakdown of everything on these two little cards. That's what was in the Lucky Tackle box. Overall, guys, these are pretty cool. I like these things. Um, one thing I do, I forgot to say it in the beginning, I have some reserved thoughts on what I think about them. So the Lucky Tackle box and the mystery tackle box guy this one here the process online was very similar for those two um the process for the monster bass one this one here was just a little different and the difference was it was specific to the region that you live in so like i'm wondering how the diff like i'm curious as to what the difference is gonna i'm curious as to what the difference is gonna be in the boxes i'm wondering if these two are gonna be similar you know is there gonna be a bigger difference because of the the you know, difference in the process of how you got the box. So that's that's my biggest curiosity, honestly. So I'm kind of excited to see. I'm actually going to, I want to save this one for last because of that in itself. So I'm actually going to go ahead and skip to the mystery tackle box because I want to see the similarities in these guys. I'm going to put these back, keep them separate so that we know which got where and where. And I'm sorry for the video, guys. I'm not like the biggest in videos. So I know I'm probably like skipping all my words, but it's like I told my girlfriend who's actually posting the video or doing that. I try to stay genuine 
to my post. That's why I didn't save, you know, that's why I didn't open my boxes. I wanted to save my reactions and, you know, see how it is. So, let's do it. Let's get it. Let's wish this All right, so cool. That's what I've seen. I've seen some pictures of this box before, and I like this. So this one's one of the things I like about this box is you get the actual like measure. So if you ever really carry one of these things out with you, you actually can measure your fish on there. I've seen this on. I've never gotten one, but I've seen them on the pictures. You know, they do show this part off. So I think that's kind of nifty. Um, little Catchco fish. I don't know if you know Catchco. Of course, is the guys who are behind Mystery Tackle Box. So little Catchco fish sticker. That's cool. Breakdowns. I like these. I really do. I didn't even think about these being in here, and I'm kind of, you know, grateful these are in here. Breakdowns of everything inside, what uh, the price is for it. So that's cool. Um, review your baits. You can get little reviews. Dibble. Tips, tricks for Mystery Tackle Box. So again, another little tips and tricks thing. Something very similar, like I said, to this one over here in the Lucky Tackle Box. So far, it's kind of similar. Different products, I'm sure, but like, you know, the breakdowns are similar. Carl's Club members. So this is cool. It gives you a little thing. You can get 30% off if you decide to become a Carl's Club member. You know, thing like that. Of course, that's probably going to cost you a monthly fee at some point. Free trial or something like that. You know how they do. They try to suck you into it. And by the way, guys, I'm not sponsored to anybody. I'm not obligated to anybody. These are going to be an honest review. I have no obligations to any of these name brands. So it's honest. I'm not... I have nothing for anybody here. So... If I don't like something, I'm not going to sit here and sell you out on it just because they're sponsoring me or something. No. But, all right, so this one, let's dive into it. This guy looks pretty cool. He's uh, called the it's called Bomber Lures. It's a fat A. <laughs> he looks pretty cool. He's actually a bill. Um, I like him. I think, you know, when you think about it, these square bill guys, man, these are pretty cool. And I see another one in here. I was about to grab it. It looks pretty cool, too. But this is pretty cool. I like this guy. I'm probably going to try him. Um, I know I've said that probably about half of these guys. I do like trying different things. I'm one of those fishermen that like to go out and try different things when you really can't figure out what wants to work. Just try something new. You know, who knows? Um, I saw this. This is what I went to go reach for. This thing's interesting looking. It's a uh, Vexen a Deep Thud Stone Roller. It's for bass, of course. I got bass boxes, by the way. Sorry, guys. I didn't say that either. All of these boxes are bass boxes. I like fishing for bass. I don't mind fishing for other things, but if I'm gonna pick one, bass is definitely my go-to. I like the large mouth, the small mouth, the spotted. I don't care how they come, I like bass. So this right here, this guy's pretty big. This guy would probably catch you something decent. It's a half ounce and go to 10 feet, it says. This guy's pretty cool, he's big. He would catch you a big fish. You definitely would get something good with that one, I feel like. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so rattling rouge, yeah, rattling row rouge. <laughs> um, can go to one foot. This guy's pretty cool. I'm not always the biggest on these guys. Like I said, I'm gonna try them out. You know, I've seen a couple in that other box. These are cool. I'm gonna try them out. I guess you know because I have them. I'm definitely gonna try them. But these are all right. Got some soft baits. Like I said, worms, guys. Trick worms. See that color? Those are those colors again. Those deep green colors. Those those pumpkin seeds, you know, watermelon colors, those are great. Um, riot. See, these guys, they seem like they might be a little, I like them, but we'll see how they go. There's a little skinny on the tail end here. I'm not sure what those points are. We'll have to look into seeing what that'll do in the water. It might give it a really cool spin or something. I haven't, you know, looked into it, to be honest, so we'll have to see. These are made in America, though. That's cool, too. All right, guys, everybody knows this name. Who doesn't know the name? If you don't, I guess you were born yesterday or something because Guggenbaits is out there. Everybody knows them right now. So I'm pretty excited to try these. I have tried some Guggenbaits in the past. I have not been disappointed. So I'm pretty excited to try these guys. Guggenbaits is a pretty cool one. Um, like I said, I have no obligations. I just truly think I've seen these guys. I've used them. So I think these are going to be pretty exciting. I like the color. It's got that white on the bottom. It's got like a silver on the top. You just got to figure out the right time of day and the right kind of day to use that coloration. That's always the trickery about it. All right, so we got some more worm hooks. Um, these are size four. So these are my go-to size, actually. So I'm really not disappointed about that. Can never be mad. There's three of them. Good size, go-to size. 
Not bad. I say there's three. Yeah, there's one more still. And some more soft base. These are crawl dads. I love crawls. Crawls are really good. Um, I like to use them most during like uh, right around spawning season for the bass. They're like they just they hate the annoying guys that come and chill in their their um, the beds, their breeding beds and things like that. So these says they're infused with scent and salt. They're a good color. They got that watermelon color on them. Let's see, saw crawl. I haven't heard of these. 10,000 fish, actually, I take that back. I have heard of these guys before. I haven't tried anything by them, though. So, these guys will be cool. So, like I said, guys, I was kind of, like I said, the comparison here with these, these, you know, we're kind of similar. I'm not saying that it's going to be much different with this, because, you know, for all I know, it's all bass boxes. So, you know, this could be very similar still, too. So, um, I'm just, you know, really excited because I got a bunch of good, you know, soft baits in general and, and, and hard baits, you know, a good mixture. So I'm excited to go fishing in general. I haven't gone in a couple days. I'm probably not going to go until this weekend and it's what, Wednesday right now. So I got a few more days until I might be able to go back out. So this stuff gets you itching when you start trying to open all your boxes and all your goodies and you just got to put them back in their box and wait a few more days. All right, on the last one. Like I said, this process, when I open this one, I'm kind of excited. I hope it's a little different, but we'll see. The process for this one was um, online was a little different. Like I said, they figured out I was in the Southern Hemisphere, so it's supposed to be a little bit more specific to where I live. Let's get into it. All right, so this one has the same thing going on for it. Now, what is really cool, I like this one. You know, you got different things on there too, but I think I like this one a little bit better just because it's educational. Now, I don't know if you want to get a good little zoom in on that one, you know, show them. This is educational. This is cool. So you don't have anything like on the back of this one. It just tells you to unfold it, right? See that? It just says unfold. Sorry, you got to get the digit. No, it just says unfold on the back. Now look at this. There's something here. Tells you all kinds of stuff. Learn from the pros. I don't even know what this one says. I just know it's cool stuff. So you need help. You know? Full of information. I'm all about education, guys, because you know what? All of us had to start somewhere. I'm not I'm not a pro. I haven't done tournaments or anything like that. I just like to fish. So any kind of small advice like this is cool. You know, it tells me what kind of temperatures and what's good in spring, summer, fall, and winter, and what fish are good in my hemisphere. So where I'm at in the country, that's pretty cool. So I like that overall so far when it comes to the actual box, I like the Monster Bass box the best, I think, for sure. Um, everything you need to crush your PB, your personal best. So this is a little book. Just says, oh, I think this is, okay, this is like the breakdown of the stuff you get. Um, it just tells you some little stories too about some people, but it's a breakdown overall of everything that's in your box. This is pretty cool. All right, another little decal sticker. Of course, everybody's got to give their name away, so they want you to wrap them in any free way you can. So this is cool. I like theirs. Oh, <laughs> I got you. Sorry, I was trying to figure out what my girlfriend was getting at. So this guy, he's wearing a mask. That's awesome. I didn't even realize it, you know? <laughs> so I think that's awesome with today's world, the things are going. That's so cool. I, you know, I'm totally, I'm totally into that. So I guess if there were any logo sticker that I would want to rep right now, this one would probably be the one because that's pretty cool. I believe in that. That's awesome. Thank you for pointing out. <laughs> All right. So I had to grab this guy. I love Z-Man. That's a popular name. A name brand I know off the top. Right off the top name brand I knew. Z-Man. Everybody knows him. He's been around forever, right? And then you got a little jig. I like these. Jigs are cool. I've caught some pretty good size off of a jig. Can't complain. And if you notice, it's in there. It's hard to see, but it's weedless too. Weedless is always cool. I like weedless. This one's a natural color. It's that coloration tell you about. Um, in my area, you gotta go for those natural browns, those greens. That's what they're giving me, that hemisphere I'm in. It's cool. So this is the first scent that I've got. This is cool. Cool, cool. This is Shad scent. This is called Liquid Mayhem. I haven't heard of them, but this isn't, I haven't gotten scent with anybody else. So this is cool, liquid shad scent. I'm all down for trying out some new scent. Scent's not cheap. Even the cheap stuff's not cheap. I don't know if y'all noticed, but it's not. So I'm down for some shad scent. <laughs> um, Pro Series X Zone, 
lures. I have heard of these guys. I haven't used them, but I have heard. More crawdads. Crawdads are cool, man. Like I said, crawdads are what you use right now for some soft baits and some worms. These are some of my go-tos. You see that? I don't know if you can see the, the what's that color? Like the fluorescent bluish, you can see that. Um, that's cool, that in that water, when it's on a nice clear day, um, and you got the sun shining and you can see the fish that you're trying to chase, that fluorescent color, man, when that hits the sun and they see it at the bottom, they're gonna want it. They're gonna go after it. It's gonna bother them so much because they don't like the crawls chilling like that. It just bothers them. And they like the tails, you know, with the fins here, guys. I bet you those, when they're swimming a little bit, you know, they swim right. Those will probably be cool. I like this. I like the fluorescent color on these guys, so. These are cool. All right. I always like these guys. Frogs are my best, am I right? Anybody who knows how to catch a big bass knows that frogs equal big bass. So when you find a good frog, you gotta stick with it. This guy's cool. I don't know if you can see that tail he's got in there. He's got like a massive tail that's like wiggles in there. He's a black frog, got green yellow eyes. I bet you he'd look awesome in some like good murky water. Yeah. I might try him too, of course. I'm saying that about everything, right? Chase baits. Hmm. I haven't heard of them. That looks pretty sick though, guys. Got another frog. Always down for frogs, guys. I like frogs. They're my favorite. Oh, and you guys, he's a toad runner junior by a booyah. That's another name y'all know, right? Booyah baits. <laughs> Gotta show him off a little bit. He's cool. Booyah baits are a good name brand. Another name brand that's been around for a little bit. Um, He's um, got that tail on him, so when you throw him in the water, he's gonna make that that sound, that propeller sound. It's gonna attract them. They're gonna get that sound and they're gonna come up. Like I said, any frog's gonna equal a big bass. So these guys are awesome for that big bass fishing. Got some cool hooks, a little two jig, uh, lifted jig head, whatever you wanna call them. They got the little jig head weight on the top there. Lifted Jigs is the name brand. These guys are cool, I think. I, you know, I like the, the weights on there. I'd like to screw them on. I'll probably try them. You know, I don't always try these guys when it comes to hooks in general, but they're good to have. They're not cheap. So that's the, you know, not like the main reason I don't get them, but like it's a reason in general. I'm sure anybody who goes out there, they see price tags on these things and they're just like, Want anything really catch a fish? And so they just don't get them. So I mean, to have them though is cool. I mean, I'll definitely try them out because I like them when they have the weights on them. I like those guys. All right guys, we're getting down to the soft baits. I'm gonna tell you, I like the way they, they kind of like did this bag. I know I pulled out the crawls, but like the two bigger bags on the bottom here, they're the soft baits. You know, they kind of made sure they were at the bottom and then they had it packed. You know, they just, it wasn't like messy in there. So here's another uh, Pro Series XM. These guys are cool. We got two of them here. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull them both out because they're both the same. I'm kind of excited to use these right here. Um, buddy of mine's been fishing lately and these right here have been one of the ones he's been using. And then these bandito bugs. Well, this is an adrenal, adrenaline bug, I'm sorry. Um, but these guys, the Egg Zone Series Pro Series, this guy looks sick. I'm excited to get him in the water. This guy, ooh, this guy right here's got that red tone. I like the way these look in the water, especially, like I said, in my area. These look like those earthworms that you try, you know, the big red wigglers. They're those coloration, that right color in the water. When that hits it right, it's got the blue, it's like blue glitter on there. It's like a bluish green color. It's called an 11-inch, and this guy's pretty big, um, blitz worm. That wasn't funny. <laughs> it's got six worms there. Um, like I said, egg zone. These guys are pretty cool. I'm excited to try some of their soft baits. I'm excited that we have them. So overall, guys, really, I'm not trying to be biased. I'm not, but I really think I do like this box the best. I do. The reason why is because it really did seem more to where I fish and what I fish. Like if I were to go and have like a go-to of stuff, this is more of what I would fish with here because I have, you know, certain bass that I'm trying to fish. You know, you want the big guys and you want them where they're at in your area. You don't you don't want them just randomized and hope you get the right colorations because it's the same fish that you're catching. That's not how it works. Here in this area, the water's different. The color's different. So I think I do like the monster bass the most. This has been pretty cool. I like it overall. Of course, you know, I get all these awesome lures and all these awesome baits. And, you know, the experience has been pretty cool. I'm excited about it. And I've told some people um, I'm also might consider doing a... 
I'm um, also might consider doing a multi-species box of the same ones. Um, I've had some other people suggest other boxes that are monthly um, subscription boxes. I don't know. Um, we'll see how it goes. Well, you know, I want to see how some of this stuff actually works and if it's actually worth it. You know, that's really the biggest key thing is using the items that you're given and them actually working for you. If they don't work, what's the point? Don't waste your money. Um, so. So I'm at the end of my video. I'm not sure how far I am on this and, and that's all good, but I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some of this stuff together. Out of each of these boxes, I'm going to probably get two of each of these lures, two of each one in each one of these boxes. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway on Instagram, you guys. I'm trying to get to 5,000. Well, I'm really trying to get at least 10,000 followers on Instagram. I'm about to get to 5,000. Now I save this for the end of my video because I don't want you just to watch the front of it and then come all the way to the end just to see what the giveaway is about. So my giveaway is I'm going to be doing two. I haven't decided yet. I'll let you know. There's going to be posts about it. I'm going to build you up. But I'm doing a 5,000 follower giveaway on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. It's at jsinky. I have it. Um, it's at the same, same name that I have on YouTube right now. Just follow it. It's one word, no space. And subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. This is awesome. I love doing things like this. So... I'm going to keep it up. Why not, right? I hope you're listening to me. Subscribe. Talk to you later.